Jackson here, exclusive backstage moments with my man Sam Moore, formerly of Sam and Dave, but on his own, throwing down on the Moondog Coronation Hall stage. Doing, How dog? are you, brother? Hey, baby boo. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> doing good, man. Doing good, good, man. When I walked in the room, he said, you know, me and uh, Dave used to dress like yeah, that. Yeah, we did. Yeah? You well. The, the very cool tailored suits and all that. Yeah. yeah. And listen, uh, everybody used to say the thing. We were the, the joint, you know. The joint. Oh, yeah. yeah we were the we were Absolutely. Man. We did a show here at one time. Had these suits. Mm -hmm. Well, after the show, they ran us out. They did. I hid. <laughs> did they see the suit and find you? Well, you know what? We used to play, you know. You know, when we started playing, we played a club, a club here in Cleveland. Believe it or not, we would see, uh, uh, what was the name of that club? Well, Leo's Casino. Leo! Yeah. And everybody, that was anybody black. Yeah, absolutely. Played them. Yeah. Martha and the Vandellas. I've seen pictures of Smokey and them. Smokey? Yeah. Oh, my God. And uh, Eddie, you know, uh, from OJ? Oh, yeah. And you know, they're from here, so, you know, That's they right. play it a lot. Yeah. And you know what? He sucked me in one time. I want to play some pool. I said, yeah. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know. All right. So okay. how much you take it for? He got me for about $15. No, I didn't know until yeah. somebody whispered in my ear. They said, Sam, don't do that. He's going to have all your singing money. <laughs> <laughs> and you just go up the check at the end of the night, right? I said, yeah, how could you do that? He said, <laughs> I was, uh, we did the Moondog every single year, mm -hmm. and Felix Cavalieri was here last year from the Rats. tell me you are. And he was telling me, I won't mention the name of the artist, but uh -huh. he said that somebody, at a high level, and he said a lot of people said the same thing, they would not want to follow you guys on stage. Oh my God. And I was like, well, these poor people are in trouble now, because he's at, at the beginning of the show, everybody got to follow him tonight. <laughs> you know? So you get double dynamite you guys were, right? That's what, you know, that was given by the fans. I don't yeah. know what fame he was, you know. But we always figure like, which I'm not taking anything, but I was talking about that today. Yeah. In, in the times we used to entertain, mm -hmm. you entertain to the people that's paying the money to come in to see you. Absolutely. Today, you know, today they, they come in just to... Pick up the thing and just say, darling, I love you. They got to be in a certain spot to say that. Mm. Or they bring Especially a... Especially on television and stuff like that, right? It doesn't make sense. Or they bring a simulated bed on the stage, mm -hmm. simulating sex. It had nothing to yeah. do with the song you're saying. Right, And you're right. going, what is that? Yeah. But say, this your kids, I say, yeah, well, that ain't got nothing to do with people paying that money. But that's, you know, mm -hmm. hey, but uh, we had good times in those days. Absolutely. And, and the thing that got me, that struck me about the show tonight, and there's a lot of talk about this, you know, mm -hmm. with the passing of Whitney Houston mm -hmm. and whatnot, mm -hmm. was about a lot of, the, she was a bit depressed on the end of her life because her voice started to go. Mm -hmm. And that happens with a lot of singers. I, your voice is just as strong now, or at least close to it, than it was back in the day. And I, my question to you is, mm -hmm. how do you maintain the power in your voice? Do I, you do anything special? I did the same. Listen, I did the... And, and, and not bring it up. Wait a minute. If band. your answer isn't you yell at your wife, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess who that was that actually said that? <laughs> I said it on say tonight, the most annoying one. <laughs> wow. But you know what? I was into that bag like I had lost it at one time. Too. Did you really? Oh my God, yeah. I was. I went on the stage one time. I was, it was so hard. And I started singing like Curtis Mayfield. Oh my. <laughs> I was singing falsetto. Uh. And I thought I was singing. <laughs> and then the motor said, I thought I hired Sam and Dave. I didn't think I had hey. Curtis Mayfield. Oh my, yeah. Yeah. But you know what? When you find people and you get them, then able is out of the way. Yeah. The find people that are concerned about and care about you. Like your wife? Yeah. Then you. Yeah, but it's a it's hard. It's not easy. Don't tell me, but you know I don't hear that. Well, yeah, you easy to walk, but no, no, because mm -hmm. it, it was not easy even doing that. Because when she was trying to help me, I was still trying to struggle. Yeah, 
But it's, it's, if, you, if you're determined to do it now, mm -hmm. it's a struggle, but you'll you know, Speaking of voice, when it started coming, my, it comes from screaming at Joyce all the time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard, yes, yeah. and it's down, it's down now. It's it's oh, down. God, you're yeah. gonna, I know you're going to, you know, I'm going to pay for this. <laughs> but we've seen you in recent years doing some great things. I yeah. saw you in the Blues Brothers movie in yeah. 2000, and yeah. you got to play Preacher. I know that you always wanted to, to do that. I did, I did, I did. You know, and, uh, on that, I remember when we at the last day, uh, there were going to be some things to be done. Yeah. And I remember John Anderson saying to Joyce, uh, I'd like to get some uh, some things done that, that was really good with Sandy and the preaching. So she said, again, she puts me and get me in trouble. She said, oh, he can do better. He said, no, he can't. She said, yes, he can. <laughs> he can do. So he says, Joyce, because, you know, every time they set that equipment back up or something, right. It costs. It's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he walks up to me and he said, Sam, Joyce said you can do better. And I said, yeah. yeah. He said, now I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to sit back, sit up a couple of cameras. I'm going to let you go back up there and do it. Sam, if you blow it, <laughs> you, I'm going to kill you right here. Now That's I a big time you. guy to saying that. Hey, yeah. this is John Landon. Right. I went back up there and I looked out the corner of my eye and she's up there like, Mom, there's so much. I won't sweat. Well, it's easier for her to say, you're the one that's got to go and do it, right? But we named it. Of course you did. Got it done. And that was what you saw. And uh, it was, uh, I got it. But I couldn't even, I, want, I really wanted to hawk. You know how we did in the old uh -huh. days, like CL. Mm -hmm. I really wanted <laughs> to do it. Yeah, really. Yeah, I know what oh, you're talking about. CL, you know? Yeah. But, uh, C.L. Franklin, in case you didn't know. Yeah, you see C.L. Franklin, you're on the back there. Read the Franklin's dead. Um. <laughs> Exciting. Big man, I Yelling at just me. did the other day. I just did the other day. I uh, the other night, other week. I was in New York City mm -hmm. at the Apollo. Oh, and did the tribute to Robert Johnson. Oh man, the original Can blues man. The man himself. The original blues Can man. you believe? Recorded all those songs in a hotel. Right? Oh my God. Yeah. And I ended it, uh, I, I did uh, Chicago. Mm hmm. Wow. Man, it was, and we had some wonderful people on there. Absolutely. We had like Ken Moe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love him. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Ken Moe on there. We had uh, Sarah Dash from, formerly of the. Of, from La Belle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Sharika, uh, uh, um, what you call uh, Copeland, you know, uh, Johnny Copeland's daughter. Okay. She was on there. Uh, we had uh, Elvis Costello. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, Diana Krall, man, what a team. Oh, what a team. God. So that's what we've been doing. It was wonderful. And, you know, we've been, we had a wonderful time. Okay. Oh, it was wonderful. And that's what wow. I've been doing. Yeah. So, so we'll look for that. That's really Thank probably you. coming out. Probably they'll probably have it out on something, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what. Because John, uh, uh, Joe Moore is the, was the writer. They're looking to try and pitch it to for a PBS. For PBS, okay, mm -hmm. that'd be good. That'd yeah, be good. that's so. It is a pleasure to meet you, my friend. I know you have to get going. And, yeah, yeah and, we gotta be going. But thank you for doing the Moon Dog Coronation Ball. Thank you for years and years and years of thank amazing you. music for being thank in our Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. And uh, thank it was a you. real pleasure to meet you. I saw the judge. You he represented. You it's a it? class of '92 sitting right here. Can you, you get a close up on that? You see that? Sam Moore. You see that? In our Rock and Roll Hall yeah. of Fame. Yeah, and I got more that on the stage the whole time. Yeah, uh, I had it up. Thank, thank you very buddy. much. Take care. You do the same. Live from the Moon Dog backstage with Thanks Sam. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.